Hello everybody. Welcome to a very quiet Kingdom Come Deliverance, me, Varax, Henry and Pebbles, and um, it's night time. Night time. We stand stoically in the dark. For now. Let's try not to do this anymore. Maybe find a place to rest. Thankfully, we have a place right there in the uh, in the castle. So sorry if it's dark, but well, you know, it's yeah. it's dark. I don't know what I'd <laughs> tell you really, um, but at least we do have somewhere close by where we can um, rest. So let us do so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me charge in here. Yep. Facing the wrong way. If if it was a surprise attack suddenly, that dude would be useless. He's not even facing towards where the attack would come from. The nights are pitch black, which I do like. Um, but what we're going to do, basically, because we have a few things. See, what we, what we could do, potentially, is we could uh, meet the poachers in the clearing. Uh, there's no actual time as to when that happens, so that's just when we go there, they'll be there. Um, <clears throat> so I could do that now, but it's in the middle of the woods and it's dark and I'm scared. So <clears throat> we're not going to do that. Um, I, I might look around the village a little bit more, cause ask around the village, find out what happened to Thomas from the bathhouse and George attack by which I've already I've, I've, I've done these, but it's Thomas that's the optional bit that's sort of like still up in the air. Um, it's marked. Or I could just go straight to Captain Robard, which I like, because at least I've got that safety net that if I do... Um, kind of run out of leads, which to be honest, I think I already have. Um, then we can uh, at least either go and talk to the poachers or talk um, to Robard and get somewhere with this quest. But I think there's more to it than, than what we've seen so far, so I'm going to persevere a little bit more before we press on. And oh, listen to that some game sound. That's, that's nice, that's nice to hear. There's probably something to eat for us. Our nourishment is uh, 95, so we don't need to bother doing that unless we want to be a pig, and we don't. So uh, we'll skip breakfast, which is really unhealthy. Do it, you know, it's the most important meal of the day. Kickstarts your metabolism and all that good stuff, but Henry's like, nope, nope, we're just gonna jump onto pebbles, and uh, I know. Like, I've always completed them, even though I haven't done them, but. I know what you're saying, game. I know what you're saying. Wrong way. I think I just, just, just opened a random door. Woman sleeping there. Well, a little creepy, Henry. We'll call that an accident, yeah? Also goes <laughs> What? That was... <laughs> look, right. You're all the... You're Stay the... away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! <laughs> you're, you're the one. <laughs> Alright, that was my fault. Uh, so here's, I mean, we could just turn the quest in right now. But, um, beautiful day, let's uh, investigate further. Uh, I don't know what to do though, I mean, I could ask at the bathhouse a little bar. Where, where are these pointing? Yeah, okay, we'll sort of go that way. I mean, it says at the bathhouse, so maybe there's someone, heaven forbid, at the bathhouse who can help us with that their quest. Dig a little bit more. The quest just points to the bathhouse, which I kind of like. Only thing is, it's kind of early, isn't it? So, no one's going to be awake. I thought people would be like around at this time. I gotta say, I don't, I don't know how it worked in medieval times, um, whether they had like official opening hours and stuff. But I figure, you know, life is hard. Make hay while the sun shines and all that, and it's a beautiful morning, and there's no one about. Which you know, I find, I find kind of strange. There's lie in, but you know, I, I don't know how. That would actually be a thing. Good morning. It is indeed. Yeah, so you don't like know anything. I'd like to find out about the poachers around here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Eleanor if you did. Yeah, we've heard about that. Take care. We did that. Hmm. 
then Jake Piper's like in the like here now. It could be it could be different. I don't know whether it will be or not. He'll be on his way to work, won't he? Where is he? Or he'll still be in his house. No, I, that was the wrong bridge. Why walk when you can ride, eh, Pebbles? I'll just be in his house. That's a nice house, though. That's a big house. Alright, you look after this wood. What's going on there? Just someone getting off a horse. Nothing untoward. Unusual. Big house for a quarryman to live in. Like. Who's there? It didn't it? A person! Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. Yeah, I need to get my clothes fixed. It's fine. I'd like to find out about the... I don't know any. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just wanted... I said I don't know any. Oh, that noise. If you want to know anything, go see Blacksmith's Betty. She saw them feasting in the woods. Oh. Feasting. That's all I know. But don't worry. She'll talk your ear off. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's no point talking to you, is there, Jack Piper? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. But you're napping, ever? Yeah. Okay, Take let's... Care. Blacksmith Betty. Right then. Next door. Good. I don't know how useful this is all kind of... They don't like the horse bar in the way, do they? How this is going to be, since we've already like uncovered where they are, but... Information is always good. Knowledge is power and all that. I know. But I'm just going to interrupt their breakfast. This is official business. God grant you health. How may I help you? Hello, Betty. I've got a few questions about these poachers. So ask. Yeah, let's just ask that first. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. And putting those antlers on Nicholas's house? Well, we all know what that means, don't we? It's the sign of a cuckold, you mark my words. So what went on between her and the huntsman? Those two? There was no love lost between them from the moment her arrived. And then Margaret got involved. It was a messy business. You're the first who's certain of Harry's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it. But better the devil you know. And everyone hereabouts knows hair. You were singing a different song not long ago. So? Why do you want to know so much, anyway? It's nothing to you, but I'm helping Nicholas unmask that local poaching gang. Oh, I didn't know that. No, you didn't. Well, now you know. And you also know not to keep anything from me. So, what's the story with that hair? All right, uh -huh. I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. No promise. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well Hare's here, because Margaret admitted as much. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? <laughs> I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. No, I believe that, especially if Nicholas would kill her. I, I don't know, like, if that's, like, a literal thing, but, he, you know, I wouldn't be happy. So, um... Well, you're the first who's certain of... Well, now, I wouldn't... Stop trying to wriggle out of it. Okay. Do you realise who I am? Um, huh. not really. <laughs> you know who Radzig Cobbler is, right? Of course. I'm his right-hand man, 
and I'm helping the huntsmen catch the poachers. So, I'm not someone you should be messing around. All right, yes. I'll tell you what I know. But promise okay, not let's to just go through the same thing. Can. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. Keep going. I know full well Hare's here, because... Ma what did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she... And what did they speak? I don't All know. All right, so it's the same You're thing. Sure so you can get that information there. two ways. Who's this Hannikin Hare, anyway? Hannikin Hare? There was a time he was master huntsman here, and Margaret was set to be his wife. But then he got himself accused of murder and fled before they could hang him. Oh, Margaret and his job both ended up going to Nicholas. Hmm. So what's the story between Hare and Margaret? It was complicated. He wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon. At least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hannock and Hare. Hmm. She could be lying. Do you think Hare really killed that man? Who knows the truth of it now? I did find it all a bit odd. Hare never was much of a hothead. But then again, no one really knew him that well. And Margaret never wanted to speak of it. Wouldn't hear a word about it. You mean to say his wife's cheating on him? All I'm saying is she might be feeling the urge. It happens in the best of families. That's all I need. Thanks. Hmm. I've got a few questions about these poachers. <coughs> so ask. Uh, you, uh, feasting. I heard you saw something fishy in the forest. That's right, I did. Can you describe what you saw? It was after dark, I remember that. I went up past the castle along by the clearing and I saw someone had lit a fire and there were figures singing and dancing and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And I could smell roast meat. It was like a feast of some sort. Only I thought maybe it was some witch's sabbath, so I was afraid to stay yeah, we know how they go. in case they saw me. Did you recognise anyone there? Someone from the village, maybe? No. Like I said, it was dark. All I could see was shadowy figures moving around. Did you hear any familiar voices? No, no. But I heard girls' laughter, goblets clinking, a piper playing. It sounded just like any feast. Um, this could lead us to the same place, you know. Where is the clearing? A short walk north of the castle. There's a track past the woodcutter's camp that takes oh, you there. Thanks. Oh. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? Alright, we've had this. It's clear as day. That's all you right. have been very thanks. helpful. Thank you very much. You take care. Thank you. What? Nothing? Yes. We got a marker somewhere. It's just... but yeah, now we've got two clearings. Alright, we will explore that. Absolutely. Where we're gonna go. Come on, Pebbles. What's that? <laughs> it's beautiful stuff. <laughs> so alarmed at someone wandering around. Alright, let's think about this. What's the best way to go? Um, so probably around there, up there, past the house, follow the trail. Good, I'm glad we've got somewhere. I am. I am glad. I am pleased. I am happy. And I, I can't, you know, I, I, I kind of like it. I, 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 a lot of the quests have a really kind of natural feel to them, how you get information. Probably uh, more than most other RPGs, if I'm honest with you. Because not, not one person knows everything. And especially for... I mean, this is a side quest. This is a random a random side quest. And I keep having to remind myself about this because it's so in-depth. This is just me happening to ask the huntsman. You know, got any jobs? And it all led yeah. to this. I didn't expect it, I have to admit. I thought it would be like, you know, go, like a fetch quest or something. You know, something relatively mundane. I did not expect it to be this in depth. I am not complaining, obviously. Where wasn't it? Oh no, there was a there was a, a gap for you. 
Yeah. A fork in the road, but yeah, you know, that's the woodcutter camp. It's the next fork in the road. Go left. Be there soon. Once again, it's a marvelous day. We're not expecting anyone to be here, are we? Let's come past it a bit. Have. Oh. the road. Here it is. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Yep. Good sit. If that's what we need to do, though, sit around and wait for the next one. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, this is nice, isn't it? something here. There's probably like a brooch or something someone dropped. That's the sort of thing I'm expecting. Yes. Did you recognize this ring? Oh yeah, that ring belongs to so-and-so. And then they'll be like, well, how did this come by? You know, by the, on the road up there with the feast and everything. You must know something. That kind of thing. Thing is, finding said ring, someone could have dropped it down here. I'm just assuming now I'm looking for a ring. That's what I'm looking for. Some kind of trinket to identify someone. Do you see anything, Pebbles? This is another thing, like, uh, you know, you, you guys remember the skull? You guys remember that? I remember the skull. It took me a while to find the skull. At least I knew I was looking for a skull, though, this time. I don't know what I'm looking for. But when do we go on to it? Maybe there's something on the road then. Maybe they dropped it on the way back in. I stop now. Alright, let's see what it says. It says, explore the clearing. See if they left any tracks. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Tracks. So I'm looking for. Sort of the outskirts of it. All right. Well, let's. At least I know more, more like you know what I'm looking for now. I'm not looking for a ring. <laughs> One of those tough to see things. Oh. Fairly obvious that it is. More in these little uh, paths, but areas where it's not quite so dense foliage. What's this? This is a really nice animation. I like it. It's just far more immersive than that. Uh, Okay. Well, we found a dead bag, and we well, that's that's good. Um,
Searching around the clearing where the feast was held uh, has borne fruit. I found the bones of a deer okay, concealed in a hole in the ground. Sure enough, it was the poachers feasting, or at least someone in league with them. That's... well, that's... okay. Hasn't really led to a whole lot of... nation, though, has it? Okay, well... Born fruit. Well, that's good. Oh, so, right then. Jack Piper. Again, from the bath. Now I don't know whether it's because Thomas is from the bath house or find out what happened to Thomas from the bath house, as in the bath house knows what's up there. But it will be at least. Open now. Everyone will be there. Go across here and join the road, then I can just have word with maybe not Jack Piper, but the people he works with. Maybe one of his fellows has a loose tongue. It's a ladder. So I'm a little dubious. But well, let's use the ladder and see if there's anything stashed up here. Quite possibly. Eh. Not so much. It's such a, sh such a shame, isn't it? This this game has ladders. It is such a shame. Last well, two of the best games ever made: Baldur's Gate and Morrowind. You notice that the thing in common is that neither of them have uh, ladders. Coincidence? I think not. Assuming this is going to. I was looking for. Expected the uh, land to slope downwards towards the river. I didn't do that, so it aroused my suspicions, and lo and behold, yes, it was the incorrect. Here we go. Plus, you know, this is a much more major road. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Still more with these two. Almost some... Still more. Do you know anything? God's bless. No. God be with you. Although... Not in the mood for um, buying and selling and stuff right now. You don't know anything at all. You. I might ask you. Oh no, you're Rupert. And yeah, My this is humble. the. Uh, I don't want to buy stout. I do, but. You know, good. And bar the man himself. I need to ask you something about the poachers. Again. What? Me. Why me for crap? Had that before. Ah ha! Okay, good. That's what I was hoping for. Some folk had themselves a feast in the woods recently, and the people who passed by mm. told me they heard a piper playing. You weren't by any chance there, were you? I was. I don't deny it. But nothing disreputable went on there. Oh, really? If you're innocent, lying won't help you. I don't know what you want from me. Nothing wrong went on in that clearing, and I certainly don't go poaching in the woods. But you do know something about it, and you're keeping it from me. Covering up for a friend, is that it? Very well. Loyalty is a fine thing, but once they discover who did it, then it'll be too late. You'll be in right in over your head, with him. But I haven't done anything. Then you have nothing to fear if you tell me what happened. All right. Yes. There was venison being eaten, 
but I didn't bring it. Thomas brought that there. So all that bragging when he was drunk was more than just hot air? I don't know where the deer came from. After what happened in the tavern, Tom took me to the forest to this hive there. But I was too worried someone would catch us, and I took off. You did yourself a favour. Thomas isn't going to get away with this. So about that feast you had the other day. What about it? So who was at the feast? Just the village girls and us. Who's us? Us lads. <laughs> was Tom from the Baths there too? Yes. Yes, he was there. Yeah, we don't need to do any That'll of this. I'll do for now. Let's do this I one. need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Yeah, okay. No, that's, yeah, that's it. Okay. So we've got what we need from him. So now, now, General, General just in case, uh, that was his friend Jake Piper was mixed up in the whole affair and he finally owned up to being at the feast. He and Tom at the baths. He even accompanied him to the poaching outing the day before. Called feet. Left Tom on his own. Right, Tom. Friends just dubbed you in. Yeah. The right thing is that if, if uh, Jake hadn't said anything, it's unlikely um, Tom would have been terminated. I think. Of course, if he is at the clearing with the poachers, then that would be another thing. But in this particular instance with the feast, might have gotten away with it if it weren't for that pesky dubbing in friend of his. <laughs> right then. We're here. This is not the baths. There is a pig wallowing in the mud. This is not the baths. The baths is a little bit further away. <laughs> <laughs> it looks the same. I mean, come on, it's very similar entrance. Try that again. This time without any pigs wallowing in mud. Makes sense, though. It's a hot day. Right, Tom of the Baths. You know, I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Not for long. I'm here to find out about the poachers' gang. And I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. Blacksmith Betty saw people feasting in the woods, and she says there was a nice smell of venison. What do you know about it? Nothing. I wasn't there. And I don't ah. suppose you'll tell me who was? No, because I wasn't there. Well, Jake saw you, Jake dropped you in it. Either way, it's Jake. Jake Piper reckons you were at that feast. I wasn't. So you're calling Jake a liar? I don't give a toss about Jake or whatever's buzzing around that empty head of his. He probably got so drunk he had visions of me there. Uh, well, we could threaten him. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We could threaten him. Put you or not. Take the blame. I could pay him, but why do that when I can use my influence that I have so I have I have you know earned pretty much. Look, I can see you're not a poacher. You look like you couldn't hit a barn door. <laughs> That's what you think. Oh. Are you trying to tell me you're a marksman? Are you an idiot or just too vain to think straight? I don't see what you're getting at. <laughs> Look, I can tell you're not the poacher, but this constant lying isn't helping your case. In the end, if they don't find anyone, they'll come after you. They'll know it's not really you, but so what? There'll be no one better to blame, and someone has to swing for it. All right. But promise me you won't drag me into anything. Speak up, and who knows? I might put in a word for you. All right. The truth is I did drag a deer carcass there, but I didn't do the shooting. I was given it. <laughs> That's a likely story. Honestly, not a word of a lie. 
I caught the poacher just as he was skinning. And who might that be? I don't know. If you don't tell me who it was, I've no reason to believe that story of yours. Fine. Fine. He's one of the charcoal men. I've seen him taking the charcoal to the forge. His name is Radan. There are plenty of charcoal burners around here. He came from the charcoal piles south of here. If you follow the creek upstream, you can't miss them. Well, you better pray I find him, because if you've been lying to me, I'll go straight to the castle. Understood? I'm telling the truth, I swear. <sighs> I'm sure you'll find him there. We'll see. If you don't tell the truth, they're going to go tell on you. Yeah, yeah. Pick your box of firewood up. Basket. Are you just going to leave it there? Yes, God. So. All right, we have to go and see some charcoal burners, which is handy. Oh, no, not all the way down there. Where is it? There. Okay. Because um, we need some charcoal for Privet's Lovitz. We'll follow the river. I'm going to check the map again because I don't know what I'm doing. So the river starts there. It's going to go down there, and we'll just, we'll just follow it all the way to there. Because I don't want to like go in here and blunder in. Actually, I really should follow the path, shouldn't I? That's... Alright. We'll follow the path down here and... Um... Past uh, the woodsman's house. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah, and this quest just goes on and on. It just gets deeper and deeper. It makes sense that the poach is further south, because if he's also supplying the inn, which is in that direction, it'd be a handy uh, place to uh, I'll drop off some meat and make some money. Let's just... Oh. We're already going the wrong way. I need to go down here. South again. The path just isn't quite lining up on the map. That makes sense. Careful in these woods, though. They're unexplored, mostly. Don't want to be attacked by four heavily armed men. And, um... Have to redo all that. That would be kind of annoying, i got to say. That was the case. Windy uh, path, though, isn't it? We are going the wrong direction. We are indeed. We are we are going the wrong way. Where the hell was that then? See, this is what I'm talking about now. Right, I'll I'll go around here and then down there. That's what I'll do. Completely the wrong direction there. So I was on the wrong path, but I couldn't find the other one. Yeah. The edge of the woods. All right then. I'll just go around and around, right into that tree, into pie territory. This will always be pie territory. Look at how long I play this game for. Look at how long it is. It could be years. I'll come back to this game and it will be pie territory. But we did it eventually. It took about 15 videos or so, I reckon. Between getting it and finishing it. <clears throat> so yeah, I made I made finding these guys much harder than it needed to be, but we'll get there in the end. Yeah, I should be used to it. Well, oh, bye. Yeah, we're dropping down to the river, that's good. So if I can also get charcoal from you guys, well at the same time accusing one of you of, of poaching. That would be grand. Oh. Following that A, I don't know whether I should be. Oh, okay. Other A. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! 
Like, if you're not throwing me off, I don't think you do that anymore, do you? You're a good horse, Pebbles. You are a good horse. Ah, oh, we've... I'm glad you came. Yes, indeed. Right. Maybe we should try and talk to the spokesman first. I know that we Greetings, should talk to night. Ginger's friends. How may I serve you? But... I'd like to buy charcoal from you. Of course, Henry. Anything for you. Yeah, they well, like us. More than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? Five bags. On a regular basis. Haven't you noticed winter is over? There's a new forge in Privislavitz. And I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right. But we can't let you have that amount for nothing. Okay, this is good. help us with ginger. Awesome. Don't worry. I wouldn't expect that. How are you going to haul the charcoal? There we go with mm. that. We still have to sort that out. Indeed. Unless you want to break your horse's back. Do that, then come back. Yeah, we good are stuck then. with uh, a transport dude. Gone. See me coming. Where is he? Yeah, all alone out here. That's good. Potentially. God be with you. So, a fellow from Talmburg claims he saw you poaching. What do you have to say about that? <clears throat> Can you hear me? <clears throat> Don't you have anything to say to me about that? I'm not a poacher. That's not what I've heard. <laughs> but I'm not a poacher, though. Brilliant. Awesome. Thanks for that. Well, oh, you've got like zero in a lot of stuff. Did your friends tell you the penalty for poaching? No. No? Of course not. Because if you knew, you'd never have been foolish enough to get involved. I'm no poacher. No, of course not. You're the Pope in disguise. What? No, never mind. But just so <laughs> you know, the local custom is to string poachers up. I don't want to hang. No? Then you better make sure they won't hang you. How? For a start, by telling me where I can find your merry band of poachers. Because maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but I don't think you're the leader. Uh, no, I'm not. So... Out with it. They only take me along from time to time. All right. But you know where I can find them, don't you? Aye. And where is that? The clearing. Yeah, the clearing. They meet in a clearing. They camp there. And where is the clearing? A short walk from here. Oh, Lord. A short walk where? <laughs> Do you know how many clearings there are in these woods? No. Sorry, I don't know. Oh my god. Where is the <laughs> How do I get there? Along the trail. From the huntsman's lodge. Go into the wood by the big broken tree. Eastward. Very well. I hope I can find it. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Okay. So. Yep. That is indeed the same clearing, I reckon. It is. But now we can talk to Nicholas, as well as talk to Captain Robar. Looks I'm doing, but I finally got out of him where the punches meet. <laughs> yeah, and it's only a stone throw from his lodge, which makes sense, because he is useless. I should report it to... Yeah, okay. So, good, we've got rid of all the optional stuff. I don't know whether there's this and this, or this or this. But we'll go and talk to... How's my um, nourishment looking? 86. Alright, we'll, we'll grab a bite to eat. These guys like us. We need to get the... Um, How are boss. you, Henry? I'm alright. I'm full now. Oof. Quite a bit, really. You know, you don't have to eat all the stew in the bowl, Henry. You could just eat half of it. But I guess... You know, he's a bit like me. If there's food in front of him, he's just going to eat it. He's going to be like, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. 
<clears throat> That's me in, by the way. That's what I'm like. Um, so, yeah, we'll just put it on there and then go up there. Easy. Yeah. Even I couldn't get that wrong, right? Right? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Looking for a path that goes over there, and here it is right now. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Nope, we've done too much to risk it. Done too much. Although that might be where I needed to go. Okay, stop attacking me now. Right, we've gone way too far now. We've gone right back. Yeah, so I didn't see that. Uh, you guys can stop, okay? I'm not I'm not gonna fight you, I'm doing other yeah. other stuff. That is good to know actually, I don't know, but I don't know whether I can I can't make notes, I can only make a marker that there's one there. Um camp that is, so I can go try and go back there. Nice if I could make like a little note there that would stay there rather than this marker that disappears. Now place another one. No, as if as if I think you can I think you can calm down, really. There we go. It's gonna be there on my on my um compass forever now. Not there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to go to clearing. I think we'll do this the official way. I'm just worried whether, you know, if I go to the clearing, it'll just either mean that I have to join them, or I'll just get in trouble and have to kill them all, and, and that's neither of the options that I really want to explore right now, so... I think that's... oh no, that, it, what, I think it is still an option, but I'm just not going to... Uh, I'm not going to do it just in case to get, you know, too too deep to, uh, the poacher's gang. You know why useless. I found out where those poachers meet. Well, that's at least one good bit of news. So tell me, where is it? In fact, not all that far from here. In a glade, not far from your lodge. I see. They chose that place to mock me. I might have known. But now we can finally nab them, right? We can. Go to the castle and tell Captain Robard to send some men with you. All right. Wait, you're not coming? I have a lot of work to do. Yeah. <sighs> Of course you do. Yeah. I've been hearing some quite wild stories about hair. People do prattle on. It happened a long time ago, and I've heard some crazy tales myself. <laughs> and what's your version of what happened? Hare was a stuck-up knob. He came here with nothing to show but his bare arse. But he thought he could have anything he pointed at. All because he was of noble stock. Whatever became of him? Oh, you must have heard. He killed one of the armed men that served Sir Henry of Lipa, and they sentenced him to hang. Except he scapered right out of the castle dungeon. How did he manage that? Margaret let him out, I think. Nobody knows. But I'll bet he had help from someone up at the castle. And what was your wife's role in that? Oh dear. He had his eye on her, and she didn't want him. That's all. And it had nothing to do with what happened later. Okay. I heard that he was a sorcerer. And I've heard there's blooming roses on Rete Gallows at Christmas. A sorcerer. Bah! Hare was a ruffian. But there was nothing supernatural about it. That's all I need. Thank you. No, let's I just, um, I don't like this dude. I don't think you're supposed to like him. I mean, he's probably like, that's the nice thing about it, because he has like, I wonder if his wife's around actually. Um, like got got the position fair and square type thing, and it is his job and everything. He's just not very good at it. He hasn't actually hurt anyone. Um, but he's just not very good at his job, and so, supposed to like him that much. Uh, he's, she's not about. 
it's not part of the quest anyway, as I'm curious about whether she actually did go to meet him. Whether it's him at all, or just someone using his name. Alright, to the castle! Regardless of everything, you know, they are poachers, and oh, even though Henry isn't above a bit of skullduggery, skullduggery and murder himself. <laughs> um, come on, I fell in here accidentally. By immersion! Fucking game. My fault, still. Irritating. Um, we're going to uphold the law. In this case, there you got out. Amazing. Yeah. Right, he's up there. That's yeah. good. Didn't want to go all the way there and then figure out he'd wandered into town. Oh, he doesn't seem to do that. It's got a very small sort of area of wandering, leaning against this or sleeping. Seems to be what he does. Where is he? Not leaning against that. Okay, so all the way. Fine. Gonna make it easy for me, are you? Right, you could be here getting something to eat. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it. Okay, should be on the first floor. Sorry, well, <sighs> yeah, he's there. Okay, yeah, he's sitting, sitting there. Brilliant. How are you, Grand? I've come about the poacher, sir. Oh, oh, so you're the one Nicholas was talking about. All right, I'll send some of my men with you. Are you ready to set off? Henry. Yes. No, no, let's let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll be with you. Brilliant. Oh, it's gonna wharf us there. I like that. That's that saves a lot of hassle. <coughs> Hanukkah here of Zalush. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming. Hmm. The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murders. Will you come quietly? What are you saying, man? Now I'm sure there's a there's a whole different way of doing this. Yeah. Um and getting Hanukkah has well, What have we got here? Look what are they, just, out what what on earth? Where's he gone? I think I'm gonna follow him. I am. Well that's not very good of him though, is it running off? Leaving his men to die. Come on. Come on. Come on, there we go. There we go. What are you doing here? Tired of Well, am I gonna kill him or is he gonna surrender? Like, what's going on here? I caught up with him, game. Yeah, I get that. I mean, what's um, was I supposed to catch him? I mean, it's a bit weird. Alright, I'll just kill him then. Put him. Wait a minute, wait a minute, come back. Okay. I will once he stops sliding. Oops, wrong button. Okay, there's the ring and his testimony and a bunch of loot. I like, I'll get that and them. We'll get that as well. Yeah, we'll get all, we'll get all that. Um, look at his hand. Okay, right, yeah, I get the two of him. How about we equip the shield? Let's see what it says. Make our way back there. There could be some loot going on. Right now, what game? Alright, first of all though, I'm going to go back to this camp. 
not really sure what to expect. Now, whether it'll all be um, despawned, for lack of a better word, or whether there'll still be a battle raging, or whether there'll be some loot to be had. But there's still people there, and they've. The guards won, surprisingly enough. Alright, guys, how you, how's it going? Well done. Do you guys mind if I uh, grab a bunch of stuff off these guys? I mean, they won't have much, will they, to be fair, but yeah, makes sense. Now, hmm, if they have some bar meat, there's a possibility that um, I could use that for the quest in um, Rote. Right, but well, there's a bit. Only two, which is probably not going to be much, is it? It's probably not going to be enough. Oh, flashed up. Uh, two out of 25. Okay, so unless you guys have some. Oh, the guard died. Well, that's good, because now I get to steal that. Um, not with gels, but. A oh, lockpick. Why would you have that? He had good taste in provisions. Uh, come on, there's a freaking. Ball there, I can't take that. How much difference is it? I mean, I'll, I'll carry it anyway, just in case, but. Yeah. Got anything here? Yeah, for a poaching camp, there's not a lot of uh, poached meat, is there? I think. No. Um. All right, let's turn this quest in. Let's let's call this one. Uh, call this one. Oh. Ah. Oh. Nothing. No robbing. That's for sure. Let's call this one done, shall we? Hopefully. What this testimony says, because I don't think I can open it here, can I? Crimes against the king. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there there might be a, a a case to be made, and maybe it's entirely true that. Um, Hannigan Hare was right to do all the things he did. Um, maybe Margaret did want Hare over Nicholas. But we've gone the uh, lawful good way of doing this, so where are we going? Okay. I am going the right way. There was no doubt, of course. I, I knew that. I knew I was going the right way. I always go the right way. Eventually. Alright, let's see what we get for this. This has been a long quest. Let's see if what and if we get. I got hair. And where is he? I last saw him lying down in the forest. Are you saying you killed him? Uh-huh. Yeah. There was no other way. I'm just glad I got out in one piece. Ah, well, I'd rather have had him alive, but what's to be done? Hmm. But I can't be sure it was really hair, unless you have some proof. Uh, he had an heirloom, a signet ring. That would prove it. I have it here. It's his, all right. <laughs> Hard to believe the legendary Hanukkah hair is gone to his maker. Anyway, I do know how to show my gratitude. Here's your reward. And stop by any time you need to. You'll always find work here. Thanks. 300 groschen. Well, okay. I mean, I'm going to say... Wasn't worth it. <laughs> You're doing this in the rain. Yes, you have to sometimes. 
And if I was to do this game again, I would do that quest a different way and meet up with Hannikin Hare and find out more about it. As it is, we're done. So next time, uh, we can head to uh, Sasao Reckon, at least in that direction, and uh, find out more about this knight that got away. Thankfully no one's been piping up in the comments about you have to go and do that, so I guess I guess that wasn't a timed quest. Um So yeah, good, right. Happy happy to um have uh, have done that quest and now I know that all these um square the the, the stars, star quests wherever they are, are um fairly in depth going by that. I think there's another one down here, like there maybe, yeah, the quest to the up there. So yeah, they're all fairly in-depth quests, so if I fancy going on a bit of a tangent, I now know where to go, and they're, they're not just like some arbitrary side quests like, you know, collect five deer pelts and stuff like that. Um, so that's good. Right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you all next time for more of this. Until then, cheers very much for watching. Doodle.